So today I'm gonna to show you how to draw a building using correct two-point perspective. So to start, I'm gonna draw my horizon line. Now I've got my ruler and my pencil here, and my horizon line is a line that's gonna go across my entire paper, noticing my paper is landscape, and it's gonna look just like this. And that line, as you learned in class yesterday, separates the earth from the sky. Second, I'm gonna draw my vanishing points, which are gonna go on either end of my horizon line. All right, so we're gonna draw three types of buildings right now. We're gonna draw one right in the center, we're gonna draw one to the right of it, and then a building to the left of it. So to start, I'm gonna find the center of my paper. Now to do that, I'm gonna line up my ruler back on my horizon line, and my paper is, I can see that it's exactly 11 inches long, so I'm gonna come over to half of 11, which is five and a half, and put a little mark. So there, I found approximately the center of my paper. Now, I'm gonna then flip my ruler around, and um, I'm not gonna worry about a certain length for this, but I'm gonna make sure my ruler is perfectly straight up and down. I want my ruler to be parallel with the edges of my drawing paper. And I'm just gonna draw a line, and I'm gonna make this line approximately four inches long. So that's the start. So we always start with a vertical line. Now, part two, I'm gonna connect the top and the bottom of my vertical line to the points on either side, to the vanishing point. So I'll take my ruler, and I like to put my pencil on the bottom of my uh, first line, and then make sure my ruler is lined up with my vanishing point. and draw a line. And I'm gonna do that on both sides, on the bottom and the top. So make sure it's lined up with my vanishing point. Let me redo that, there we go. And you wanna make sure you're doing this nice and lightly, so that way when you do some erasing later, it's gonna be a lot easier to handle. So, just like that, and the last one, just like this, so it should look like a large diamond. So now I need to define my edges. So I need to figure out how big do I want this building to be? And that is totally up to you, but for now I'm gonna keep it relatively small. So on the left side, I'll draw a line from the top to the bottom. And I'll do that on the right side. Just like that. Now, I just need to get rid of my extra lines, so I'm gonna erase this line at the top. I'm gonna erase this line at the top on the left side. And then I'm gonna erase the horizon line in the middle. Now, since we are making a city, I'm actually going to keep this line on the bottom because it's gonna help me line up my other buildings. So to add a building to the right side, let's add a building that is connected to this building. So all I need to do is take this line that I already drew, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit, and just, I could even, let's draw it up a little bit higher. So I'm just gonna take my ruler on this line and just draw it up maybe an inch higher, like that. And now, I'm gonna do the same thing I did for this shape right here. I'm gonna connect the top and the bottom to the vanishing points. Now, the bottom, let's start there. The bottom is already going to the vanishing point, and since this building is further away than this building, I can't, I don't need to do anything to this point down here, so the bottom is already done. So all I need to do is connect the top to the vanishing point on the left and the vanishing point on the right. So here's a little trick. When I connect it to the vanishing point on the left, I don't need to draw it all the way there because that's just gonna equal a lot of erasing. So I'm just gonna draw it out here a little bit. And then I'll do the same thing on the right side. I don't need to draw it all the way there, just make sure it's lined up. So let's line it up with the vanishing point. And then define my edges. Draw a vertical line down where you want your building to end on the left, and draw a vertical line down where you want your building to end on the right. 
So every single building we draw, it starts with a vertical line in the middle, connect the top and the bottom to the vanishing points, define your edges, and then erase the extra lines that you don't need, which is the horizon line in the middle. So, and I could keep going too. I could add another building over here if I wanted. I could just, you know, extend this line up even more. Vanishing point, vanishing point, down. And obviously I would be using a ruler, but it's, it's a pretty straightforward process. Now, if we want to add a building on the left side that is not connected to this building, it's just one extra step. So instead of drawing this line further up, we just want to draw our vertical line over a little bit further. So I'm just going to pick a spot over here. That's where I'll start my building right there. And take my ruler, and we'll start with our vertical line. Now, connect the top to the vanishing points on the left and the right. So again, just like this building over here, we don't need to draw it all the way there. Just as far as you want it. Just make sure it's connected to that. Oops. This tripod can be a little flimsy. And then define our edges. Vertical line down on the left. And then down on the right. I'm going to erase this horizon line in the middle now, but something still doesn't look quite right. What I need to do is go to this first line I drew, and I can see that it's connected to the vanishing point on the left, but I also need to connect it to the vanishing point on the right because we separated it from this building. So, and I'm only going to draw this line to the edge of my first building like that. And there we have it. That's the basic properties for drawing building shapes in correct two-point perspective.